Look, I'm not gonna lie to you, I almost didn't make this video. The first time I ran an email campaign, I got almost no responses. I mean, think about it. You're paying for all these softwares. I paid someone to give me a lead list. I set everything up, linked my domains, spent so much time setting it all up and got nothing out of it. Literally no clients, no meetings, a couple responses. It went terribly. It seems like for most people that get started without knowing the tips that I have, that's the same thing. And all these templates you see online and by Google and in different courses, Look, I've tried this stuff and it didn't work for me. It's almost as if they expect a business owner to give them all this time and sit there and read some really long essay about why their company is so great and who they are and all this stuff that everyone wants to include when in reality, the best emails should be extremely short and right to the point, you have one second to get the client's attention. And honestly, this is true in all of your marketing and all of your outreach. They should be able to take a glance at their phone and see exactly what it is what you do and decide if they're interested or they're not. Simple. Most of the time, whatever email campaign you have running, you can take it and simply slash it in half remove everything, slash it in half, and it will most likely do better than what you're currently running. So let's actually dive into my screen here and I'm gonna show you a template that's worked really well for me. Here's the best way to do that. Email number one, this is the first one that sends out. We have first name, so Bob, do you guys provide niche services? So for this example, I'll use roofing. So do you guys provide roofing services, metal roofs, etc.? This could be, do you still provide chiropractor services, right? Do you service the entire higher city area, we don't have anyone yet. I can guarantee you 25 to 30 opportunities per month. Let me know ASAP, please. I tried to call and then your phone number, right? If you're free, we can chat for five minutes on blank. So not every single email provider is gonna have this capability of choosing two weekdays from today. So honestly, you just remove it. If you're free, we can chat for five minutes and then just you can just remove that. And what we're doing here is we're just getting right to the offer ASAP. The goal of this email is to sell a phone call. That's it. Don't try to sell your services and talk about we do Facebook and we do this and we do that. No, just sell the phone call. And then on the phone call, then you can tell them a little bit more about what it is that you do. And so this is a great way for it to feel like a very personalized email. And again, you can do it at scale, right? If you have a good lead list, you can import everything in here and just send it and you can get a bunch of responses. So let's dive into email version two. So we have, hey, first name. So, hey, Bob. And then you wanna insert a first line. And this is going to be custom for every single lead that you submit this to, right? So I just saw Susie left you a five-star review online. Awesome job. Would you be interested in getting more work like this? This is so powerful. I've never seen someone do it like this before. Let me show you how you can get those first lines. So if you hire a virtual assistant, you can give them the lead list just like this, right? We're talking business name, we have the email, and then you can also include the website and some social media channels. And you want to have the virtual assistant go in and just write a first line, meaning they're just going to take something and make it custom to that business owner. You can base it off reviews. You can base it off of something on their website. Hey, I saw your before and afters. They look amazing. Hey, I love this drone footage that you have. Uh, just make it personal. And then what you're going to do is that's going to be a separate line on here, right? So when you import this list of contacts, check it out. It's going to go in this first line. So it's going to say, hey, John, I love your drone footage that you had on your website. It looks really cool. Would you be interested in getting more work like this, right? So if you reference a project, or you reference some kind of work that they're doing, maybe you're working with dentists and you can say, hey, I love your office. I love the color scheme you have in your office, which I guess this template wouldn't work amazing with that, but you can say, hey, I love all your patient before and after photos. I love your aligners that you've set up with some of your customers. I love the testimonials that you have. I love the videos you have on your site. Would you be interested in getting more work like this? We helped. Then you can include some kind of proof or some kind of testimonial if you have it. If you don't, that's fine. You can follow the template from the first email. We just helped Rob from Five Star Construction, a construction company like yours, but in a different area, close an extra two roofs in 11 days. Best part is we booked it all for him on his calendar. He showed up and closed one worth over 34,000 and another for 15,000. Let me know if that's something you want to be a part of. See, these emails are very direct. They're right to the point. I'm not telling them, oh, we're going to do Facebook ads. We're doing Google ads. Go high level. We're doing SaaS and automations. And no, we're not talking about any of that. We're just trying to get them on the phone. We just want to pique curiosity. That is the main job that you have on these emails. Pique the 
curiosity and then get on the phone and sell the demo in marketing and in our process here what you want to do is sell the next step the email should sell the phone call and then the phone call should sell the demo call and then on the demo you're going to sell your service also real quick if you want our client getting scripts our client getting strategies our outreach dms literally everything a to z then you can go ahead and check out the free course in the description if you want all of our snapshots imported into your account i'm providing all of that it's completely free if you don't have a high level account then you can sign up for a free 30-day trial down below and i will give you access to everything sales call recordings additional services that you can actually offer how to sell those services and how to charge high ticket everything is in there so let's dive back into the video if they don't respond then you want to have follow-up emails that go out this is another thing i did wrong in the beginning i just had one email send and that was it have two three, four, five, six emails that send out. And here's a sample one also that I did. Bob, I just realized I never introduced myself, LOL. Keep it lighthearted. It kind of depends on your niche too, I will say. If you work with like doctors and very professional, maybe lawyers, something very professional, then maybe don't use things like LOL or maybe it's worth a test. From my niche in construction, this works well. These guys are rough around the edges. They don't care. My name is Pavel and in the last 30 days, we've done this for our clients. Tammy closed this much, Rob closed, boom. Okay, Monty, Kevin. So again, some proof. And then I include maybe the next one will be for or blank, right? Their company name. I have verified proof, by the way, of all these numbers and text messages. We still don't have anyone in city, right? So it pulls in where they're located. And if you have their address, you could just put in their address in here. And that was super personalized. They're seeing their own address in your email, right? I prefer to work with you because your online reviews I saw under boom company name is impressive versus the other guys. Plus we guarantee our work. But if you're not interested though, I understand. Just let me know and I'll reach out to someone else. We'll send them more work and we'll contact you again. So again, you want to give them the opt out. If they're not interested, just say, hey, by the way, if you're not interested, just let me know. No worries. But also add in that last fact of, look, I'll just contact one of your competitors. It's all good. And I've even included things like we work with one company per area. If you're not interested, no worries. I'll just work with one of your competitors. And this, this type of email is going to get way more responses because this is interesting, right? It's not some long bio about your company and who you are and what you do. No, we're just giving them an offer, giving them a guarantee, trying to get them on the phone call ASAP. Now, if you wanna be a real savage and book as many appointments as humanly possible, then what you wanna do is call them as soon as they respond. Don't wait for them to respond and then you respond and they respond. Look, these guys are extremely busy. If they gave you any sort of positive response at all, pick up the phone and call them. And if you have a virtual assistant that's helping you book appointments as well. This is what my VA did. Then you can reach out to them on other platforms too. As soon as they give one positive response, send them a DM on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, their contact form, literally any platform that you want, reach out to them, try to call them multiple times. If they responded, then you need to call them, right? Maybe they asked a question. Okay, no problem. How much does this cost? Just call them. Don't try to answer a email. Well, it ranges and we do Facebook ads and multiple plant. No, no, don't do that. <laughs> call them, call them. That is it. On the phone, they can ask you questions and you can answer them and you can overcome objections and book more demos. One of the biggest things that I see that is a huge mistake is including a calendar link. At least in this niche of home services, these guys are not going to book. They're going to see your Calendly link. They're going to think that you're trying to scam them. And a lot of local business owners in general, they don't use Calendly. They don't use all these online appointment schedulers that we all know and that we use. So what you want to do is just call them. Also, by the way, if you do that calendar link and if you do links in general and emails, it decreases your deliverability. And plus everyone uses Calendly links. So a better way to stand out is just by asking them something, right? Think about it. If a client opens or a potential client opens an email and they see some link, they can automatically assume, wow, if he's trying to get me to click on something, this might be a scam. But if you're just writing four sentences and they're nicely spaced out like this, then they're way more likely to just glance it and be like, okay, that's interesting. That piques my interest. And now you have them in. When you do that conversation, then you also want to make sure that you book that into a go high level sequence. So I have a calendar. So all of my affiliates and everyone in my community, they get access to this where it's a calendar and you can can book it on your calendar and then they get automatic reminders. And as soon as you book them in as well, so let's say they agree to like five minute phone call tomorrow at 3 p.m. You want to book that in or have your virtual assistant book that in your calendar through the specific link. And then they're going to get automatic text reminders, right? Automatic email reminders. And also you want to follow up with them by showing them case study videos. If you have a case study video, you should be sending that to every single person before your meeting. By the time you speak with them, they should have already seen your face. They should have heard 
heard your voice. And then even if they no show for that meeting, you also want to continue following up with them, not manually. Again, you can do this automatically. We have scripts and everything that you can import. And then if they no show, you just have one that sends out because they no showed and it tries to get them to rebook on your calendar. Now, again, it's going to be more effective if you just call them, hey, I saw you missed our meeting. When's a better time? And then you book it. Now, if you're serious about this and you're serious about your marketing agency and you're serious about growing, you should be reading things like David Ogilvy, Claude Hopkins. These are great authors. They write books on copywriting and you should get very good at this. Don't just copy and paste this. That's the big thing. You want to iterate on it. You want to take it. You want to improve it. You want to customize it and you want to get creative. This is the best way to book more appointments is to do something that not everyone else is doing and also add a little bit of humor into it, right? Add something in to make it seem more casual so it's not so serious and super businessy so if you want more email templates like this you want my winning scripts for dm conversations all those imports that we talked about earlier if you want everything literally imported into your go high level account you can check out that link in my description uh, there should be a link to a free course you could check that out and i'll see you on the next one